Hi everyone, welcome back to FS22. Overnight we received over a foot and a half of snow. I did some plowing last night, came home to get some sleep. And I'm up early this morning, it's about 7am here. It's only about 10 degrees out, so I want to hop in the truck as quickly as I can to get the heat on, get the seat warmers on. But today guys, we are going to be mainly plowing residential driveways. I have several employees out plowing already. And I'm going to be using the 2019 Ford F-350. I have a Fisher a straight blade wide out. And I do also have a Turo snowblower with me, so we definitely have the tools to get the job done. Let's get the truck warmed up here and get to plowing. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Let's get those strobe lights going here. We definitely need those here for backing in and out of driveways all day long. That really helps uh, cars know that we are plowing here. Gets them to go a little bit slower passing by, which is always a good thing here. But we're going to start off plowing my house. The neighbor's next door to our right. And then we have a few more properties to do in the subdivision. We've gotten a lot of snow so far, and it looks like, guys, uh, snow just keeps on coming. We have snow in the forecast later on this week and early next week, which is super exciting here. I mean, uh, getting to run the plow trucks means we're making a lot of money and having fun at the same time, which is pretty awesome here. But I always like to help out some of my neighbors, and uh, plowing uh, for him is always uh, quite fun as well. And... Uh, he always invites us over for a food and dinner uh, occasionally, which is also pretty sweet here. But running the plow truck, guys, I got the remote in my hand, and I do have my telephone as well hooked up to the uh, center console there. So if I need to uh, answer the phone, it's going to be hands-free here. I need all my hands for running the controller, uh, for changing the transmission to drive, reverse, and for uh, turning the steering wheel. We're coming up on the next driveway here. Whoa, it looks like there's a truck in the driveway. I wonder if that's a new truck. That wasn't there the last time I plowed here. Now, working around vehicles and driveways, guys, is always, always a challenge snow plowing. We, we want to do the best job we can, get the driveway cleared, but we have to stay uh, uh, and be very careful around vehicles like that. That is one super expensive truck. That's a pretty nice one, though. Just going to go nice and slow along it here, especially with snow. There might be uh, ice or anything like that. So we just want to make sure we don't end up sliding into it and uh, go from plowing driveways to repairing a pickup truck. That would definitely hurt our profits here. But we have a few more residentials to do. And then we actually have one commercial. And then uh, we'll go back to residentials here. But we are at about a quarter tank of diesel. I'm going to have to get some diesel soon, but uh, we're up on the next property. Alright, we're good to go here. Why don't we go do the one commercial one we have to do here. It's actually a local storage unit uh, complex here. It isn't too big here. Probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes just with this. But having the wide out plow does come in pretty handy. But I am looking to get a V plow. Maybe some other brands and some other designs of straight blades would be uh, pretty neat as well. And we're coming up on it here, you guys. And see, it's a little tricky uh, with how we have to windrow the snow. But hey, we'll get it done no problem.
All right, this property looks pretty good here. We just need to have one of these shovel alert uh, crews to come on out here to do a little bit of work in front of each garage door, but we're good to go. One thing I did notice, guys, that I'm going to have to pay attention to today is as I kept on going, uh, plowing at that property, the uh, snow plow raised up a little bit slower each time. I'm not sure what's happening there, but I'm now almost on empty there. We use a lot of diesel, so why don't we head to local Casey's? It's just up the road here, and it's actually kind of close by uh, so we'll just swing by here I will definitely grab a snack because when you're plowing guys time does fly and I'm quite hungry already it's only about 10 a.m. here but it looks like there's actually a few other people here wow what do we have here that looks to be the all-new Ram TRX. That is so cool. And we've got another uh, snowplow operator in front here. So I'm going to go get filled up here, get a full tank, and then I think I'm going to chat uh, with the snowplow operator of that truck. Wow, guys, look at this truck here. It looks to be a 2017 Duramax with a Western wideout here, and he is also running a, uh, a salt spreader here. He said it does sit a little bit lower when it is uh, full of salt there, and I just really quickly wanted to show you the TRX. This thing, guys, has like 700-something horsepower. So cool. I mean, look at the back rack. Wow. Uh, that would be cool to have as a work truck here, but hey, well, let's hop back in the F-350. Let's get back to clearing some driveways. If you do want to see more snow plowing videos, please let me know. Here, I've been really enjoying these. It's the winter time and snow is always a lot of fun here. Specifically, plowing snow, guys, is something I really do enjoy here on the channel. But we're pulling into another subdivision. We have about four driveways to do here. And this is actually one of our bigger ones that we have to do here. And this is a pretty large driveway. And it looks like, guys, the plow does not want to get raised on up here. Let's see if I could raise it. Okay. Okay, it looks like I got it raised up here. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm going to have to be as careful as we can. We still have about 12 driveways to do, so we can't really be running into any problems here. We have a backup plow, but that's over at the shop, about a 20-minute drive from us. All right, guys, I'm pressing the button. Uh, the plow is not raising on up here. Let's hop on out here. Oh, boy, guys, we got hydraulic fluid on the driveway here. Yeah, it looks like well, this thing is not going to get lifted up here. But the good thing about Fisher, guys, is actually this was by design. If we uh, kind of push a plow up into a snowbank, we could just uh, adjust the chain just enough, and it should uh, kind of lift it as we back up here. So let's give that a try. This was one of the biggest selling features about the Fisher because otherwise you would just have to leave the plow here. But I'm going to drive into Snowbank and as I do that, I am going to just keep on going. Yeah, I think we got the plow raised up, but we'll just adjust the chains here. Awesome. Let's see if we back up now. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, guys, that is going to work here. But I have three more driveways to do at this street. So what I'm thinking now is... I am just going to use a snowblower here. We have to make do. I don't want to drive across town all the way to come back here with a different snowplow to do four driveways here. So we'll just use a snowblower. This is definitely not ideal here, but we'll make do with it until we can get back to the shop and have our mechanic look at it or even uh, switch over to another snowplow here. So let's get to snow blowing. I mean, hey, this is also going to be good exercise here for us. And this thing, guys, this Turo looks so cool. Look at how big and strong the snowblower is. One thing as a business owner, guys, you just have to be prepared for anything. And I guess that was the case here. I was bringing this actually. We have to snow blow a few walkways on and a few upcoming driveways. But I guess we are going to be snow blowing the entire driveway with this here. It's going to take some more time, but the job is still going to get done. And that's the most important thing is uh, making sure we're reliable for the customers and uh, still getting it done even when we have breakdowns. We're coming up on the next property here. I think it's easier just to kind of keep walking with this uh, down the street than to keep loading up into the truck. And just having the chute uh, and uh, switching back and forth is just going to be the way to go here for us. But we'll be doing a lot more snow plowing here. Hopefully, I get this truck fixed. And we'll definitely use some of the other trucks as well. We have a, a Ram 3500 Cummins. And we do also have a, a GMC Duramax here. So we have some other trucks and other plow setups as well, which is pretty sweet here. But yeah, this is working out good for us.
All right, we got all the driveways done in the subdivision here. We'll put the snowblower back in, put a ratchet strap on it, and I'm going to head back to the shop now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fix the plow here, but I need to put the backup plow on. And good thing I saved one of the older plows from a previous truck we ended up selling here. But I'm going to get back to work here. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.